And again, they have an observer to observe themselves to see that they've done it. And that was snow falling off the roof. Welcome back to Lovely Long Faces. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to manage your mood and your disposition with your, when you're with your horses. So I don't need to have a horse with me to tell you about this. So here we go. So one way to do this is to set a mood for the day. Um, you can, there's two ways. There's the way I learned this, there's the way I teach it, and those are a little bit different. The way I learned it is you take a word that you can, you can be what you consider that word and face any event. Okay, I've seen people use joy. I cannot do joy in the presence of every event. But I can do centered or balanced or usually centered or balanced or peace. Actually, I do peace a lot. I can be, um, well, could I theoretically be in a fist fight and still have peace inside of me. Absolutely. And most martial arts are based on that. And so I can set one of those moods and I can commit to it and use my observer that I taught you about to make to check in on myself to make sure that I'm doing that mood. And when I notice a change, because I have an observer, then I... Um, I recommit to that mood. The way I've taught it as well is I, if I know someone who's had a really, really, been in a really good way, had a great sense of peace, had a great sense, had a acupuncture treatment that went really well, or a healing of some sort, or a religious experience, or something that they felt really um, good about themselves doing that bro brought rise to other people, not something that tore somebody else down. And, um, and I ask them to remember that experience with every fiber of their being. And set, and then after, after they have remembered it, not before, after they've remembered it with every fiber of their being, to name it. And then to that be their mood for the day. And every morning they get up, they remember that mood, they, na they, they say that word, they remember it with every fiber of their being. And then they move out smartly with their day committed to that mood. And again, they have an observer to observe themselves to see that they've done it. And that was snow falling off the roof. Um, so these are a couple ways. You, who you are in your office and in your workplace affects who you are with your horses. Um, and who you are with your family affects who you are with your horses. So this is one thing that you can do for yourself. Um, to not only take care of yourself and improve your yourself and maybe self cultivate you know self cultivate but it's how you can also improve as a horseman and cultivate yourself as a better horseman and have better relationships with your horses so thank you <laughs>